A great work t-shirt really only has to have a few things, but it has to nail those things. It has to allow freedom of movement. It has to be able to take a lot of abuse. And I really like a chest pocket. You know, you put your writing utensils in there, your glasses, any number of things. When you get used to having a chest pocket, it's hard to get used to having a t-shirt without one. Plenty of brands offer t-shirts which fit this criteria, but the ones that I own the most of are the traditional K87 Carhartt pocket tee. These things have been around seemingly forever, and uh, you know, now they're available in all kinds of different cool colors. I probably have a dozen of these things in my closet. And why? Well, they just work. They fit the bill. They're great. But the problem is, is that they're pretty damn thick. Most of the time, coming with durability comes a certain heft and thickness. So these have a weight to them that is, uh, it's kind of nice when it's a little cooler out, but when the weather starts getting a little warm, sometimes it could be a bit much. But the things that I love about these shirts are, number one, as I mentioned, they allow a lot of freedom of movement, they have a great chest pocket, they can take the abuse, they also don't really shrink or lose their color too much after dozens and dozens of washes, and they're relatively cheap, so I don't mind throwing one on and going to work knowing that it may very well get stained or dirty. It is a work t-shirt after all, and that's the great thing is having dedicated workwear. You know that you can go and womp on it, and that's what it's supposed to do. Take that abuse. So what I used to do is I used to wear these until it started getting warm, like above 80 degrees. And then I would change over to something kind of like this, like a tech fabric kind of thing. This is one I think it's from Under Armour. You got something stuck to it there. I think this is from Under, yeah, Under Armour. And you know, these are like something you'd wear to the gym. They were uh, okay, but, and they, you know, they're pretty comfortable in the, the hot weather and stuff, but man, they just don't feel very good on your skin. And it's because it's like 100% polyester, they're kind of scratchy. I noticed that they would really grab like my chest hair and, and it was just like, they just weren't very comfortable. They would keep you cooler than these do, but for the most part, uh, it, it's not enjoyable to wear these at all. These belong at the gym. So pretty recently, while I was getting a couple of these, as a matter of fact, I saw the Force T on the Carhartt website, and I said, you know, that almost looks like the same cut as my athletic shirts. I'll give it a try. Why not? So I picked up a couple more K87s, and then I got uh, one Force T-shirt just to see what the, the hype was all about. And the interesting thing about these is I put it on, and immediately I bought both in large, it immediately felt like it was a trimmer cut, which it is. It's it's in a totally different fit altogether. And I really actually liked it quite a bit in the heat. Now I notice when it's warm outside, I'll go with that and leave these things at home. Matter of fact, I want to get a few more. They're really great. Now the reason that I make this video is because I didn't realize that they had two different t-shirts for really two different applications. I figured, okay, well, you know what? I want a work shirt. Well, these ones that I've been using forever are the ones for that. Of course, then I realized that living in New England where we have like a hundred degree swing either way, it could be zero degrees or below zero in the winter time and it can get above a hundred in the summer. Well, for that case, or somebody who works in different climates or different conditions all the time, it's like having two different tools in your tool bag. Now, I do want to be completely transparent and let you know that I do have a relationship with Carhartt. I have a connection over there that I can talk to who actually gives me some insight into how they develop products, why they do certain things, and answer some of the questions that you ask me in the comments section. That being said, I've been a fan of the brand for probably 25 years, and uh, you know I continue to buy their stuff and wear it and, and love it, and I think that sometimes they are the best in the biz. Other times, there are other companies that beat them at what they're trying to do. So what you're seeing here is really my opinion, nothing more, and telling you kind of why I think that there's a place for both of these t-shirts in almost anybody's wardrobe. So let's start with the, the beloved traditional pocket tee right here, which is known as the K87. And these are the ones that I've been wearing for a long time. Most likely, these are the ones that you've seen on job sites and on the backs of working people across the world, and they're wonderful. Now, this is in their traditional fit, which is very generous. And I think that this was developed at a time before stretch fabrics were really a reliable, you know, textile. I mean, stretch has been out for a while. The uh, ability for it to return to its original shape has gotten better within like the last five years. And now you're starting to see a lot more stretch out there. Before that, though, let's not forget that the only way that you could get freedom of movement was by having a pretty big and roomy fit. So when you reach above your head to grab something, um, you know, your shirt will move with you. So I think this was developed at a time where that wasn't really the case. And, you know, it works just great. Like I mentioned, I have several of these. I, I love them. 
What you notice about the K87 is that, again, it's thick. This is a thicker t-shirt. Um, it's not like overbearingly thick, like you would think of a, uh, you know, like a sweatshirt, but it's somewhere in the heavyweight t-shirt category, which is great, and it means that it's extremely durable. So these are heavy. I also noticed that the, the sleeves on these, they come down to just above the elbow. They're a little bit longer. They're traditional, you know, sewn sleeves right here that come down. That'll be important in a second. And of course, their chest pocket, which again, as I mentioned, when you get used to throwing something in the, the pocket of a t-shirt, it's hard to get used to one without one. They're also a little bit longer, so when you tuck them in, if you do tuck these things in, they don't come untucked. So if you are working in somebody's house and you don't want to get that dreaded plumber's crack, well, then that's what this is for. And I know other companies do this, like Duluth, you know, they have their their t-shirts which have that, like, added length and they, they do the whole commercial with the plumber's crack thing. And, you know, it's basically just a little bit more length on the hem of the shirt. And it does a nice job at protecting you from um, exposing yourself. Now the Force T, on the other hand, which also has some sort of alphanumeric code, but I'm not really familiar with it, uh, it's thinner, it's stretchier, and the, the design of it is completely different. What you'll notice about this is that it has these raglan sleeves, which means that basically it's cut like an athletic shirt, where there's one piece of fabric that goes from the neckline all the way down the sleeve. The sleeve itself is a little bit shorter. The material is thinner than the K87 as well at five and three quarter ounces, and that material is sweat wicking and it has some sort of a stain guard to it. It's it's pretty amazing. It has a little bit of stretch. It's like the next evolution in t-shirt material. And what I like about it is that it's 65% cotton, 35% polyester. Instead of the normal 100% polyester athletic shirt like I showed you earlier, the nasty thing about these two is that they tend to hold on to odor and you have to wash them with like vinegar or something to really get that all to release. I'm not a fan of these things. I don't like them. And I've started wearing these Force Flex shirts in the gym. Well, I only have one, but I've started wearing it in the gym. And that cotton on your skin feels much more like a normal cotton t-shirt. It's much more comfortable. So these are two different t-shirts which are really intended for two different purposes. You want to layer up in the winter time? Well, these are the ones that you want. They're thicker and they, they're more burly, you know? In the summertime, or if you're somebody who's more athletic or you work in a warmer climate overall, the Force Flex are much nicer. Another thing that I noticed, which they don't seem to advertise, is that these t-shirts, the Force and the K87, are also available in the exact same colors. So if you want some of their really cool seasonal colors, which they've started to do, they have different heathers and stuff that look really, really neat, uh, like this light blue, well, you can get the same exact color in the K87 and in the Force Flex. So if you like that color, you can get it in both. So that's pretty neat too, that they have this homogenous color scheme. And they're both available in long and short sleeve versions, so there's a ton of variations here. So what's the big takeaway here? Wow, Carhartt has two different models of t-shirts, whoop de doo No, that's not the situation. What I'm trying to tell you is that, depending on where you work, and if you do work in a place where you're in the hot and the cold, you don't always have to suffer in a thick t-shirt like the K87. They have ones that will suit that climate. And until you use them, it's very difficult to go backwards. I mean, now that I have that Force Flex shirt, I'm definitely gonna get more of them because coming into the summer months, man, they are more comfortable. But the nice thing is you don't give up any durability. The problem again with these type of shirts is that they're not very durable. They're meant for running and being at the gym and that kind of thing, not, you know, accidental slippage of a, uh, a utility knife or walking across a sharp stud or something like that. So you have all of the things that you love about a work t-shirt, built into these. And, and I want to be fair here, you know, there are plenty of other companies that offer t-shirts. This is just the brand that I like and I'm sure that many people like. So I wanted to let you know that they have these two different shirts, which really almost anybody who likes one would probably like the other for different reasons. Both definitely have a place in most working people's wardrobe. So that's what I wanted to tell you about. I'm really excited about it, if you can't tell. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll catch you next time.